Hi there, my fellow course participants. My name is Pranvan Swats and I'm presenting this screencast on screencasting entitled Screencasting 101 on behalf of myself and Nadine Smith. So Nadine and I are the first to admit that we do not have any exclusive online facilitation experience. However, we do have a bit of blended learning experience and it is from this premise and this experience that we like to share our tips and tricks with you. And we also invite you to engage with us and to discuss uh, the tips and tricks that we've presented and, and, and share your own tips and tricks if you have any. Tell us what you think won't work, tell us what you think does work and any other thoughts that you might have on screencasting. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that Nadine and I feel is important to emphasize that in terms of screencasting, the most important thing is preparation. From our experience, we found that you need at least one hour preparation time to prepare a 15 minute screencast video. Now that might seem like a lot, but if you think about the advantages of screencasts, in the sense that a student can download it, they can share it with each other, they can watch it, they can pause it if they need to, and they can start re-watching it at the time that's convenient for them, they can rewind if they don't understand something, then it's very difficult to argue that the advantages don't outweigh the effort that you take to prepare it. Also, in terms of preparation, um, for the types of screencasts that we've made, we feel that it's very important to storyboard your screencast before the time. So there might be other types of screencasts that, that doesn't need a storyboard. Um, and, and please do tell us if you know of any. However, for the for the purpose that we use screencasts, which is to communicate and, and discuss a concept, um, one needs to, just like any written project, one needs to plan an introduction, a body and a conclusion, just like we've actually done for the screencast which we're preparing for our class, for our short, short course. Um, we have an introduction where we've mentioned the things that we like to tell you before we start telling you the content. The content, which is the body, is our tips and our tricks. And then we have the conclusion, which are the questions that we'd like to discuss in this week as we go about the online facilitation. Okay, so going back to the tips and the tricks. Right, in terms of the storyboard, the two software programs that we found very useful to prepare our storyboards on is MS Word and MS PowerPoint. They both have advantages. We find that MS PowerPoint is the better software to use and that would be easiest it would be easiest for me to demonstrate that when we actually go through the procedure of making a screencast, which I'll do a little bit later in the screencast video. Um, it's just at this point, just please, um, if, if there's any other software that you know of, then please do also tell us um, what software you use to make your screencast, if you have used other software to make screencasts. Also, on the subject of software, if it is your plan to demonstrate something in other software in your screencast, say for example, you want to show something in your browser or you want to use MS Excel or any Visio, any other software, then it is a good idea, another one of our tips and tricks, to have that software open and ready. For example, if I was speaking about something and I wanted to show you something in MS Excel, I've got MS Excel open and ready on the on, in the document uh, that I want to show you. So I'm not fumbling around and trying to find the document. If I wanted to show you something in the browser, I want to show you something about screencast software, I've got that website open already. And so it just looks a whole lot more professional. It's a smoother movement and the final product just looks a little bit more refined and polished. Now, the rest of my points, the, the next three points are in pink and they're in pink for a reason because these points I will demonstrate uh, or I will explain these points by actually demonstrating the software to make screencasts. So we are going to use, we're going to demonstrate making screencasts using software called Screencast-O-Matic. So this is free software and the website for that is actually screencastomatic.com. If you don't have an account, you'll have to sign up for an account, but it is free, or there is a version of it that is free, which is the version that I use. Now, I have an account, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. While I'm waiting for this to go, oh, well, it didn't take long to come up, did it? So, what I'll do is I'll type in my username, which is also my email address. It's a good idea if I spell my username correctly. 
and then I type in my password and I log in okay so with this software you can make up to a 15 minute minute video for free um, and 15 minutes is really actually a long time I make screencasts for my students at my university and I find that my screencast should not be longer if you're going to convey a concept they shouldn't be longer between longer than 15 10 to 15 minutes um, there's other free software that I use to also make screencasts but that is typically when I want to record a lesson but it is not for the purpose of teaching a lesson so the other free software is called Elect Alive um, the disadvantage with Elect Alive is you can't it's not easy to edit with Elect Alive um, the advantage with Screencast-O-Matic, which is this software which we're demonstrating, is you can edit on the fly. So as you as you record, if you realize you've made a mistake, you can quickly go back and change it, but I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes' time. Okay, so you might have to download and install. I've already used the software, so all I do is I press, simply press start the recorder, um, and then in a, it starts to launch the recorder. And it's asking me if I want to switch applications. Yes, I do want to switch applications. And now I am ready to start recording. Um, almost, it seems. There we go. There we go. So now what I see in front of me, well, I can see my sound is working perfectly. Now what I see in front of me, so now I go back to my PowerPoint. Now what I see in front of me is I see this little candy striped white and black border. And that, that demarcates the area or the screen that the viewers of the screencast will see. And that is actually now getting back to which software is better to do your storyboard in. This is why MS PowerPoint, in our opinion, is the better software to do your storyboard in. Because the nice thing about this, where you're recording a portion of your screen, yet you can see the rest of your story on the side here, means that if I was speaking about something on tips and tricks, but I prepared before the time, and I quickly want to say something, I want to jump back to a particular point, and I want to go back to the online facilitation screen, I can quickly say something about that, and then I can jump back to my body. And then I maybe want to say something about my conclusion. And all my viewer sees is the he sees what I see in this border. And it's a really nice, smart, smooth movement. As opposed to using Word, for example. Now let's go back to Word. And remember I said your software must be open and ready. So as opposed to using Word, for example. Okay, so I don't really want to change this border. But now just humor me, please. So with a word, I've got the exact same things that I had written in the, the, the PowerPoint presentation. But to go from my introduction and say, for example, my body was a bit further down, I'd have to scroll down and it just, it just doesn't look quite as nice and, and as smart and as snazzy as what it looked in MS PowerPoint. Okay, so that is why we recommend MS PowerPoint. Um, yes, where were we? Okay, so, so I have, we recommend that you adjust the size to 70 so that you can do, uh, go up and down. Animations is another tip that we have. Animations are really good to use if you plan them in, adva in advance. And if you mis have a ma make a mistake in Screencast-O-Matic, no problem. Truncate is your friend. So let me demonstrate what I meant by editing on the fly. So now I'm going to start my recording. And I press start recording. As you can see, I've got 15 minutes there. And it's starting to record. And I'm starting to actually, let's just go back. And I'm starting to talk about online facilitation. And I say something about my introduction. And I'm starting to say something about the body, the content of my work. And whoops, I realize I made a mistake. Oh, no. And so what I do is I stop. And I think, oh no, I made a mistake and I go back. I don't want to go l listen to everything, but I go back a few seconds and I'm previewing what I've just recorded. So, Screencast-O-Matic allows me to preview. So, I preview and for I'm eight seconds. I'm about my introduction and I'm starting to say something about the body, the content of my work and whoops, I realize I made a okay. mistake. So, there, I made the mistake at about 15 
seconds. So now what screencast matic allows me to do is to go back to 15 seconds. So go back till about 15 seconds. There we go. And then I tell it to truncate. Nice and easy and so I can edit on the fly. And it does the countdown for me. And I continue as if I never made the mistake in the first place. So that's something that's really, really cool about screencast o -Matic. So to get the software, this is the website that you'd have to go to. And the Elector Live, which is the other free software, you can get from screenrecordings.com. Okay, so before we move on to our conclusion with our questions, let's save this video. Let's we're done with our video now, and so we press done. We've made the recording. What we're going to do next, Screencast asks us, and we say save and upload. And you can either upload it to screencast o -Matic. You can upload it to YouTube, but I don't want to. I want to save this as a video file on my PC, um, just because I like having a backup. So I go save as a video file on my PC, it's recording number 17. I remember that. Now, I've already got a, a folder. Let's see if I can change this folder. I'm going to browse folders. So, I'm going to change the folder. And it's not going to be in process capability. I don't want it in my webinar folder. I want it in a... Let's just put it in my documents. I've got a folder called screencast o -Matic. Um, I've got a folder called recordings and it's number 17. Okay. And so that's where I'm going to save it. And once I've saved this video, then I can decide what I want to do with it. I can either upload it onto YouTube, share it with my students, um, use it for a website, or whatever you need to do with it. And I got publish and so, oh dear. Retry. So I'm having a bit of issues with my my antivirus software, um, but I'm sure that you won't have the same issues with your antivirus software. But that is basically what happens. It now will get saved into the folder that you selected it to be saved in. So I'd have to go and disable my antivirus software. It's a bit sensitive. Um, I'll, I'll, well, I can delete it because I don't need this recording again. Um, yes, I'll have to save it because it's a bit sensitive, but you'd be able to save it and then come back to it. Okay, so the last thing that Nadine and I'd like to speak about are, is our conclusion. So, please do tell us, please, please do tell us, what about all of this did you find useful? And besides telling a story or demonstrating software, where do you think that screencast could add value? Besides MS Word and MS Excel, what other software do you think we could use for the storyboard? Is there something that we missed? And in the context of an exclusive online course, do you think that screencasting would work? And H5P, is that the next step? So that's some software, but we can speak about that in the discussion board or in the forum. Okay, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'll be looking forward to chatting to you soon.